Hello everyone, again. Uh, I'll be reading one uh, slightly long poem. It's not very long. It's about a woman uh, supposedly named Maria. And uh, uh, before I begin, I would like to thank uh, Maitri, I think it was, uh, for a very good introduction. <laughs> we were talking about uh, the, the Northeastern region, the states of the Northeast. And I think she, uh, she just went out of her way to, to make sure that people don't think that we are all from, you know, the same kind of culture and so on. So, okay, this is uh, Maria and Vixen. Maria and Vixen. At the end of the day, we don't know what we want anymore, or who we are and who we thought we were meant to be. Who were our friends and who were the ones who led us away from the scenes of mourning and the places of contentment? Since these things are out of our hands, what we're left with is a mirror showing our movements. Some who are mothers and some who are sailors, some who stand under street lights displaying their embroidered beauty. Some who reveal a sense of daring in photographs with their smiling eyes and their feet braced apart in a challenge, a question mark thrown at the world. Mara or Maria or Mariam, navigating these pools of clamor, you must be tired of holding court each day wading in ponds of duckweed, sometimes in jeans, sometimes wrapped in splendor. I'm sure you set, your, set aside your face at evening when you sit at your dressing table to undo the faces that daylight has forced upon you. You place them in a drawer, rubbing out their lines, lines that flatter you and draw many more eyes, your eyes perform a full striptease of me, and yet in the evening you put them away in a drawer packed with myrrh and crumpled tissues. You think your face belongs to the world, and if they think it is beautiful, it is for them, and if it smiles, it is for them. If your hand reaches out in grace, it is for them. I agree that beauty is a fine thing to own, if only it were not owned by them. I agree kindness is a good thing to show. It means you have known faithlessness, tempered by the solicitude of friends. There isn't, a much, there isn't much about friendship we know, except that it happens to all of us, like birth or death, but somehow more prone to threaten us with prolonged loitering. Her sister has no face at all, but she says she has a gun, then changes the subject, afraid I might be afraid of knowing a woman who has a gun. She asks how the day has gone. We keep circling certain questions, something deeply conventional about pies, something about good armor and the need for them. She leans in shadowed doorways, her face is quicksilver. From nowhere I see blurred fur among damp leaves. She's gone deep, she's gone to earth. Birds on the telephone wires, a pigeon with a twisted neck. She looks at me with eyes full of questions, her mouth full of warm feathers. Thank you.